All right, fellas. Got the little tricky part out of the way. All right, here's how you put the time belt on on the LS400. Line up your the driver's side is the left cam. Lines up perfectly with the T. Loop it around the water pump. Right here. Come up. Line it up with this T. Loop it around. And put a C clamp on this part and hold it still. Come back around. Uh, go back to over to this side. Barely stick it on here. Make sure this, see this is nice and tight. This side has to be tight. This side has to be loose because that's the tensioner side. Feed it around. And you can see on the bottom. Let me go under the car and show you how my timing marks all lined up perfectly. See that dot? We get some light. You guys can't see the dot. The dot lines up with that white mark, and the two dots line up with the hole. Right? That's how you know you're perfectly in time. If it doesn't look like that, you fucked up, and you might have to turn your crank slightly or something to get it in line. I don't know. Hopefully that didn't happen. Alright. So that's that. Like I said, this side's tight. Tight all the way around. This side's a little loose because I'm about to put the tensioner in and pull the pin, which is going to make this ball go up and put the pressure on it. Again, driver's side is the left cam with the timing mark, the T. Lines up with that dot. The T over here lines up with that dot and that line up. And there you go. The torque on this, 25 foot-pounds, 25 foot-pounds. The torque on the water pump bolts are 13 foot-pounds. The torque on this bolt and this bolt are 13 foot-pounds. And then the housing is just, you tighten it up until it can't tighten anymore. So I'll take it easy.